Hi friends, I welcome all of you in the Usatility channel. Now we'll find out how to download and install the War and Peace on PC so we can play with keyboard and mouse even on a large screen. As you know, this is an Android game, and we're going to see how to run it on computer system. Only focus on the display and keep watching the video step by step. Without having more wait, let me take the start. The first thing is actually to open up our favorite internet browser, in our case Google Chrome, and you're simply going to click the URL located in the description of the video tutorial, or in the very first pinned comment. Right here is the website link that you need to click. You'll automatically be directed to this web page of Bluestacks War and Peace. Bluestacks is actually the application we are going to use to download the game and play it on computer system. If you want to enjoy games on PC then Bluestacks is absolutely useful and it really works as an emulator. Right here is the option to download War and Peace for PC. The download is done, here is the file. We click on this file to open it. Windows the 10th of May ask you for permissions. To be able to continue installation, only accept the conditions. Now I minimize the browser tab to ensure that I will only focus on the installer. The next task is to find the location in which you prefer to install it. If you'd like to customize the directory then you can only push Customize Installion. We keep it as it is, we click back, and then we click the Install Now option. It's going to only take a few MBs from the memory of your computer system to download this file. The downloading is determined by the internet speed. Now it will continue to installing the emulator. As you have seen, the file has been installed in my laptop. It's the first time it will open BlueStacks, so it is going to make several configurations, that it's only gonna do this time, the rest of the times it will not take that long to launch. Keep the eyes stick to the screen simply because we will explain a very important step now. We have to sign in to Google Play, let's click on, sign in. Log in to Google Play by providing your email and password. You cannot continue to install this game without login because it is a Google Play game. We're going to enter the email and password of our Google account, and that's it. We now have logged in Google Play account. You'll be required to accept the terms and for this purpose, only click on, I agree, we don't need to make the device backup and so we will select, no, option. It will display the same setup as of cell phone or even tablet and if you will make a backup, it'll store the data for future. Anyhow, we've ultimately come to our Google Play account. When you would like to get back to the computer's desktop, press on this particular arrow. You will note these two icons, Bluestacks multi-instance as well as Bluestacks. The first icon is to launch Bluestacks. After completing all of crucial steps, we've ultimately come to the installation phase. One further step we always have to accomplish, which is to complete the account setup, hence we should select the payment method that we are going to utilize if we're planning to buy stuff on Google Play. We're not thinking about buying anything at all, hence we are going to click the skip button. Game installation is started now, the game will be downloaded within the computer. In case you have swiftly internet access then it will not take too long to download War and Peace. I will be back after completion of this step to save the time. Wow, here's the icon of this thrilling game and this particular icon is same as the one that displays in mobile. Like all other software that you open on your laptop, this War and Peace game will be launched after clicking this icon two times. You have discovered the way to launch War and Peace but I will explain another way to begin War and Peace via Bluestacks. We will just click this particular icon and then launch it. Here is the keyboard setting if you wish to configure it. We will leave it at the default, we close it. Firstly, I would like to tell you that there are two big screen methods. This is actually to maximize the emulator, you'll have a full screen with a border. Still, if you'd like to get 100% big screen then this specific option is not good. Either you need to enter the full screen mode or go to normal mode, you should click F11. This way, we are able to play in full screen without even anything from Windows annoying us. We simply recommend playing the game in an emulator if your laptop is powerful enough. Want to know how to alter the language? Let's know it. We click this cogwheel right here, we'll go to preferences. It is possible to choose any language from here that you would like to. See, this is how I've altered the language. The game is ultimately installed. It's ready to play. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumb up, give it a good like, subscribe if you like the Usatility channel as well as any comments you have left in the comment box, and we'll reply. Thanks to you for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next videos. Bye.